I love who I am. I like what I do. Why would you show us your lavish lifestyle and still not do your job as a leader, you know? What are you trying to show us? That we have the power to use your money the way we want to, to take care of our own needs? But what about us? Sincerely, if we don't put these people on check, then that is it. It's the end of Kenya. For good governance to exist, there has to be levels to accountability. And the first means of ensuring people are accountable is by, of course, recalling the MPs. <laughs> Yes, I have a, I have a helicopter. I have a helicopter that I, I purchased. I've been a member of parliament now, now eight years. The ancestral land, several houses, and uh, several uh, pieces of land, both in Nairobi and out of Nairobi, allows me to access credit. I am an inspiration of very many young people in this country. This uh, younger generation that seems to have a much keener sense of equity, the anger and the disgust with, uh, with these leaders was always there. So I don't think they're gonna get away from it. I don't think that people are going to forgive them. Yeah, we've just seen uh, several bodies being retrieved yesterday, today also, and. Uh, the massacre that happened in in, in uh, Gidurai, Gidurai, I mean, the president lied to us that there was no massacre, but uh, we remember the video of the president when he was saying that uh, he is going to, they are going to go out again uh, after those terrorists that entered parliament. And so they saw people walking to towards uh, on Thika Road. And the police went to Gidurai and they massacred a lot of women who are closing their business, mamambogas who are closing their businesses. It is very sad that even the president himself he has not talked about this, but he is the one who authorized the killings in, in Gidurai and in Rongai because the police are working to protect him. And so I think this kind of president should just leave the scene because he has proven that he is a butcher of Sugoi and uh, he needs to go because we cannot allow this kind of thing to continue happening in this country. Nobody is safe from Ruto. Ruto is a killer and he was even a, a criminal for the ICC. He must be against, charges against humanity. He has tried to, he has eliminated a lot of people. This guy, I think he has killed more than a thousand people since he, he joined politics. It's very sad scenario. And it is very bad that we see that we elected this kind of person as a president. I don't know where our brains were when we were electing in 2022. What happened to us? What happened to those people who died in 2007 those people who were burned in churches how did you come how come we closed our eyes and we elected this kind of clown a killer a butcher how comes guys just let us know what is going on because it's very sad to see our, our, our mothers being removed from the dam i don't know if it's a dam or a quarry it's very very sad this uh, kind of uh, scenario this kind of pictures they are very bad if you just look at them and wonder what's going on in this kind of place. He has done a lot of harm to this country. The education sector is in shambles because he elected a person who he doesn't have even experience to lead the education sector. 
Our roads are in bad state. He elected a person, a clown, who is showcasing his belts, his watches. He doesn't, and he comes to the television to tell us that there is no money for roads. I wonder what is wrong with this kind of leadership. I don't know what is wrong with the Ruto. Ruto was elected to not to work, and exactly I'm, I'm seeing that is what he is doing. He was elected to eliminate Uhu. He was elected to send Baba to Bond. He was elected to kick out the dynasties. He was not elected to work for the people. We have just discovered that we messed up. A lot of people have lost lives because of our mistake of electing a clown, a killer, a butcher. It is very, very sad, uh, sudden situation in this country. I don't know what we're going to do, but this guy must go. Whichever way it takes, he should go. I heard that the sniper boy, the guy who was a, who made a video of like a sniper, he is missing. Uh, kindly confirm in the comments below if this guy is alive or dead. So guys, uh, next time when we go to, if we have an opportunity for elections, guys, please don't elect clowns. Don't elect this kind of leadership. People who are ready to kill us. Do not elect this kind of leaders, guys. Just listen to me, guys. It is very, very sudden to see that we have this kind of leadership in power and there's nothing we can do to remove them because they are killing us they are doing all, whatever it takes they are coming after us so it is good that he has been exposed he killed a lot, around 300 people in Gidurai the massacre of Gidurai was around 300 people and so we cannot allow this kind of uh, thing to continue in this country he lied to us that there was no massacre in Runga. He lied to us that there was no massacre in, uh, in uh, Gidurai. And he comes to tell us that the police in Gidurai was snatched a gun and that's why they shot the people like that. They killed a lot of people. I don't know what is going on with this kind of president. I don't know. He has no apologies. People have died. People died in parliament. He never apologized. Now he has also in the driving bodies. He has not even come out publicly to speak. So I think, guys, it's time to let 16. All people should let us go to the street. Let us make sure that this guy leaves office. Let us do whatever it takes. He must leave office, guys. This guy has proven to be a butcher, a killer. And, uh, we are not uh, ready to continue under his leadership. Is the country should stop now. The country should stop yeah, functioning so and everything until this guy goes home. I think that is what we need to do because it is very, eh, no one is safe, no one is safe, guys, in this country. Whichever you think that you are safe, you don't, you know, you never know. This guy is a terrorist, he's a ter completely terrorist, guys. So kindly wake up, guys, and uh, next time when you go to the elections, just try to wake up and uh, elect a credible leader because this is wrong we did the wrong thing to elect these clowns it is very very bad guys the mps from the mps very arrogant the governors are mismanaging all the money the ministers who are looting everything right left right center and this guy is just watching and is very happy about it i think ruto is a problem is the only biggest problem we have and the mps we need to do away with this whole thing guys we don't want anything to do with this kind of government anymore we are tired and we are no longer in their boat they should alight now so guys if you're watching this channel for the first time kindly subscribe and hit the like button so that we can reach more people thank you so much and uh be blessed and stay safe from the jaws of Ruto. He is watching and he is ready to kill anyone next. You who is watching, you are ready. You be careful with this kind of person because you never know. You, not, you might not be in Mandamana and you are abducted. And, like those mothers who are in the dump in a, who have been thrown in sacks. These women were closing their so shop. In the they never knew that the police would come there to kill all of them like that and tie them in sacks and try to hide the evidence, throwing them here. You know, they never knew something would happen like that. They, they knew that they are still doing their own business. Guys. So you can think you are safe, but you never know what is going to happen to you. We are no longer safe in this country, guys. We have to come out and make sure that this guy leaves office. We are not ready to be led by this kind of person.
this person is a, a terrorist. He's more than a terrorist. Yes. A terror. This is a problem. He's a dangerous to the humanity. This guy is. A, this president is a problem, guys. We need to wake up. No one is safe. Know that you are no longer safe if you are in Kenya under this kind of regime. A regime of killers, a regime of naive people, a regime of people who don't care, who brag after stealing, a regime of useless leaders. We are no longer safe and we are calling upon this kind of government, the whole of it, to resign and go home. Thank you so much, guys, and uh, see you in the next video. And kindly share if you.